Well, hello, everybody. Uh, it's good to have you with us. Um, I'm Tom Boone, Associate Director for Mission with the Outreach Foundation. We are here, uh, as I said the other day, we're here in Germany with a partner, uh, Sarkis Benimain and the Presbyterian Church of Bayern. Uh, we are at the conference right now, but we want to take a little bit of time with uh, Amy Delgado from Memorial uh, Drive Presbyterian Church, Doug Stewart from uh, Grace Church in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and reflect back a little bit um, uh, on a couple of days ago. Uh, we went to Dachau, uh, and Doug, I know you were especially looking forward to that part of the visit. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about a reflection or two? Yeah, I'd be glad to. That first full day in Germany, we had the chance to load in our vans and, and uh, head to Dachau, something, of course, we're all familiar with historically. Um, but to walk in that space where there was such hopelessness and, and helplessness and to see how evil rears its head mm -hmm. when people are, are far from God, when leaders are far mm -hmm. from God. And um, it was quite a day. Um, it was an opportunity to kind of set the tone and, and uh, understand you know, persecution and pain and perseverance in a, di in a different context, but then we will be later learning more about the persecuted church, of course. Um, and it was, it was very special, but very painful and, and uh, hard to process at the same time. Yeah, that's a great way to kind of frame it. What do you think, Amy? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I took away the persecution piece of it, too. It's an interesting mm -hmm. kind of theme throughout the week. That yeah. just starting up, like, We just so happen to be in this region where this historical, yeah. you know, the Holocaust happened. And, and yet we're here now with the Iranian persecuted church, yeah. you know, and so it, it helps kind of, it did kind of help us set the stage, interestingly enough. Uh, God is interesting how he uses things. And, and Amy, I'm really glad you're here, uh, not just representing uh, your church, obviously, but this is, you have been among uh, the Persian-speaking community a number of times in different kind of contexts. Why, why were you, did you feel a pull to come to this? Well, I just have a passion for the Iranian church. And so, okay. um, so it's so great to come because I've worked with um, the underground church leaders um, at a more kind of a leadership level. This is a great conference because it's really more about families and, mm -hmm. um, and those who are maybe perhaps a little bit newer in their faith. Um, and to come and see what that, uh, what discipleship looks like and what pouring into them looks like and just to also experience the richness of yeah, an Outreach yeah, Foundation yeah. trip. Well, thank you. Um, thank but you. to get to know even more people that are a part of this movement, who really are the star Jesus of this movement, and, um, and just to understand, it's so inspirational, I think, for our own faith. Mm -hmm. to see theirs and so oh, um, yeah. so it's 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 um it's wonderful from a from an opportunity for us to come and serve them but as with so many things in ministry in the end you walk away and you feel like you got more than you gave mm -hmm. um, um it's just it's fun to watch the team as their eyes are are opened to yes. what's happening in the iranian church um but it's just um I feel like we're in such a unique time in history yeah. um, to, to really come around and, and do as best as we can to be kind of Aaron and her for the Iranian church to hold that their, uh -huh. their movement as they are working so hard. And so I think it's incumbent uh -huh. upon us uh, to be in that role at this time. Amy, thanks. And I, I just love the way you put some of that. I like that image of um, being, holding them up as, as they do this work. And you know, you know, you've been among the leaders, but this is a contact with those whom they are serving. Right. Uh, and, and you're seeing a different dynamic. Doug, I, you've been with Sarkis yes, before. Yes. Uh, so this is not your first time among this community. Yeah. Um, you are coming back though with a much larger team. Uh, and thanks for doing that. I know it blesses them. What do you see God, how do you see God at work? And, and all of this. Absolutely. I, I just see some tireless faithfulness in Sargis and all his ministry and church family. Um, they, they persevered through so many things, um, but the Spirit moves through them and, uh, and, and draws people from all over Europe, you know, here to, um, to, to work together, to worship together, to raise up communities of faith together, whether it's here or Berlin or other places. Uh, it's one huge church family, uh, and the Spirit is working through the key leaders and, and some young leaders that are, are stepping up as well. And, and if we can play a small role of encouragement or however we can be useful to them, it's a privilege. Yeah, I, and you know, coming in as seasoned leaders, mature Christians, 
blessing a, a first generation church is just an incredible opportunity yeah. and thanks for being here thank you all for uh, listening and we look forward to bringing to you a number of other vlogs after um, as the conference continues and we reflect on some of the testimonies and other types of experiences that we have thanks for joining us and god bless <laughs>